Hi guys, welcome back to Bondi Science YouTube channel. My name is Sammy Robinson and I'm going to be showing you guys a beautiful bronzy goddess makeup look today. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to Bondi Science YouTube channel to see more videos like this. So all over my body, I'm wearing the Ultra Dark Lotion as a really nice base to begin with. So I'm just gonna be matching my face to my new fresh tan. So first off for primer, I'm gonna be using the Bondi Sands Glow Lights in Gold. I love this as a base because it obviously gives you that beautiful illumination, but also works really well at smoothing your skin. So I tend to sort of stick this more on the high points of my face, but I do just rub it pretty well everywhere. So your cheekbones, down your nose. Up around your forehead. That's so gorgeous. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna mix a little bit more of the glow lights in with my foundation, just because I wanna have that really golden glow today. So I'm putting a little bit of foundation on the back of my hand, and then I'm just going to put a little bit more of the glow lights in there. It'll just give you that really beautiful illumination. I'm just gonna mix it around and just apply it. And then I love to take like a sponge, a wet sponge, and just really melt that into the skin. I think it gives you the nicest finish on the skin. I do like to use brushes when I'm in a rush as well, but this I feel like just gives you that really airbrushed look. Fab. So next up, I'm gonna jump into concealer just to put it around the under eyes, a little bit around the nose and the chin. I don't like to put too much on because I like to stay as bronzy as possible and I don't mind like a little bit of darkness under my eyes. I also take whatever is left on the sponge and put it on the backs of my eyelids to even that out because I've got a lot of veins there. So this is the Bondi Sands Glow Matte One Day Tan and it's really good for all over your body obviously as a one day tan but I love to use it as a contour as well all over my face and you can see my face is still quite a little bit paler than the rest of my body so I'm going to put it all around the outside of my face and just really bronze it up. So I'm going to put it on the backs of my hand again and I'm going to apply it with a brush and then bounce it in with my beauty blender. Jawline. Then you just want to take your sponge. So the good thing about this one is the consistency is super lightweight, so easy to blend, and it sits perfectly on top of your foundation and doesn't take your foundation off. It's really, really nice. And the colour isn't too warm as well, so it works quite nice as like a bronzer but also gives you that you know like that dimension as well so now i'm just going to take some translucent powder and my sponge and i'm just going to press it into my under eyes to set down that concealer this will stop it from creasing and then i also just take the same sponge and put it around the inner parts of my face to set down those areas that are still highlighted but get quite oily i tend to get quite oily in those areas so i like to make sure that they stay nice and powdered and this will give you like a really nice airbrushed effect as well. Now I'm just gonna go into a powder bronzer as well. This will sort of act as our powder for the out, outer perimeter of our face. So instead of powdering that, I like to just use a bronzer and go over the liquid bronzer that we use. Okay, so onto eyeshadow now. I'm gonna jump back into the glow lights and this is the shade Bronze now. And I'm gonna use this all over my eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow. So it's super subtle, really easy to blend. The color isn't crazy, so it's not scary. Um, it's a great sort of everyday shade if you just want that like pop of bronze on your lid. It's just a great base to put on to make the colors on that you put on top really pop. And it dries down really nicely as well. It starts off quite wet, but it actually dries down really nicely. I just use my finger to apply it, super simple. So then to blend that color out, I'm just gonna go back into my bronzer and just apply that into my crease. This will really tie your eyes in with everything that you've put on your cheek so far. I'm just gonna take a darker brown, a warmer darker brown, and I'm gonna put it in the outer corner just to give my eyes a little bit more dimension. And then I take an even smaller brush again and go into an even darker color and really just sort of tap that just there in the outer corner and I really don't move that much around. And create like a little C on the outer corner. Now you're gonna take a golden bronzy shade like the base that we used, like essentially exactly the same color. And to make sure that's really set down, I'm just going to put that on top 
of my lid and this will really add to that golden bronzy look and make your eyes pop. And so that base that we put on has just really amplified that colour for us. So I love to take that same shade and put it on my lower lash line. I find this really makes my eyes pop as well if I use like a light shimmer underneath. I'm then gonna take Glow Lights in Pearl, which is the lightest shade now. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my hand as well and just pop it on my inner corner. Oh, and I'll take a little bit of that on my lower lash line too. I just feel like that really opens your eyes up if you just bring it along the bottom lash line. And then just to add like an oomph to the inner center of your eye, I love to take a lighter shade as well. So I'm going back in with pearl lights and I'm just going to put that on the very center of my lid. Almost like a halo effect on the eye. And if you just keep your eyes sort of not creased, it will dry down. I'm gonna add a little bit of blush now. I'm taking a really natural shade and just putting it on the very high points of my cheeks. I feel like if you take like a nice deep natural looking blush, it makes it look like you're quite sun-kissed and can look like you've just, you know, gone, spent a few hours at the beach without actually burning yourself. So I'm now gonna put a little bit of the pearl lights onto the high points of my face as well. This color is stunning. So I like to just apply it with a brush and then jump straight into my beauty blender and just blend it through. Really push it into the skin so that it looks like skin. So I'm gonna start with a lip liner for my lips. I like to overdraw them. I am going to take then the lip balm from Bondi Sands and it's got vitamin E and coconut scented so it's delicious and I'm going to put heaps on to just give my lips that really glossy look. I love to bring whatever is on my face down onto my decolletage as well. I feel like it really lights up your collarbones and your shoulders so I'm going to take the Bondi Sands Glow Shimmer and I'm going to take a kabuki brush and just blend that in. You can see that gives you just a really gorgeous sheen. So I love to use that as a base all over because it's super easy to blend and you can just put it everywhere all over your chest. But if you really want to get fancy, you can pick up your glow lights again. I'm going to jump back into the gold lights and I'll use this just in like smaller sections. So right on the collarbones, just to amp that up and right there on the shoulder. You can see as I move my chest, it just gives your chest such a gorgeous glow. So there you have it. That is my easy, golden, glam makeup look. All of the Bondi Sands products that I use today will be listed down in the description box. So if you guys want to pick it up, make sure you check that down there. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know down in the comments what your favorite Bondi Glow product was. Until next time. Mwah.